Hey everybody, it's me, Robert again, and this is not going to be a top 20 anime list. Uh, I know, you you guys are probably disappointed. Not that anybody actually watches those. Eh, so anyways, this isn't going to be a top 20 anime list. This is actually just going to be a rant. Um, because I need a video to do it while I'm making part 2 of my top 20 favorite anime characters. Um... And I want to say something really quickly. I do not like the new setup for YouTube. I don't like it. It doesn't work very well for me. I like the older version because it was more simplistic, easier for me to follow and understand, and not so weird looking. Because the new YouTube looks just the new the new YouTube just looks weird. I like the older one better, but. Besides that, um, this rant is going to be about, like, modern music. I hate how music is changing. Music is changing, and not for the better. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still some good songs that are coming out, but it just seems like everybody, especially the younger generation, they don't even care about the quality of music. Well, actually, for the younger generation, it's more like they are inexperienced and don't know much about music. So they um, they don't listen to the words in the songs. But, but it's not just the kids' fault. It's the parents' fault. The parents are letting their children listen to whatever crap that's on the radio, not even caring. They don't even... Um, teach their kid. They don't even teach their kids good music. They don't um make their kids listen to good music, and they just let them listen to crap. Um, some big examples of this is um oh I don't know Justin Bieber. He right now is so annoying and uh it's so freaking annoying. I mean. I don't even see why these little kids like him. There's, I mean, I know they're little kids and little kids are immature, but still, you have to have at least some sense of music, or at least play good music around your kids, not just let them listen to whatever the hell they want. That's so annoying. Parents, you can't just expect your kids to um, do whatever they want and not get into some sort of trouble, that's the problem with parents these days, is that parents let their kids listen to whatever music they want, watch whatever shows they want, hang out with whatever friends they want, and do whatever the hell they want. Parents, you guys need to shape up and do your jobs, and by do your jobs, I don't mean, um, let, let your kids do whatever they want. That's not doing your job. Doing your job is, you know, give you have to give them freedom, but then at the same time, you also have to um, restrict them. You have to um, teach them right from wrong, but parents aren't doing that, <sighs> and their kids are going to their kids are going to have to learn the hard way, though. <sighs> Anyways, but I kind of strayed off subject there. Um, so what annoys me about Justin Bieber is that he sings love songs and he's freaking 17 years old he doesn't know crap about love i'm 19 and i don't know anything about love freaking justin bieber he sings all these songs about love but i i bet you anything he's never been in a situation in which he actually loved a girl or the girl actually loved him and from what i've seen of him he's a freaking flirt he's a goddamn asshole who thinks that he can get any girl because he's cute. It's because all these stupid little girls look up to him and admire him. Justin Bieber, just because you can, you know, get little prepubescent girls who are um, immature, naive, and don't know anything about love to fall in love with you doesn't mean you can get any girl you want. That's another thing about Justin Bieber that I don't like, is that he is a sex symbol directed at little girls. Little girls who haven't hit puberty yet, who don't know anything about love, and they only 
like him for his looks. And he doesn't even look all that good. Even with his new hairstyle, he still looks like a, a lesbian girl. Not that I have anything wrong with lesbians. In fact, I know I have, I have quite a few friends who are lesbian or gay. Um, but, like, I have seen a couple of lesbian girls who look like Justin Bieber. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually, that Justin Bieber looks so feminine. And then... <laughs> Another funny thing is that Justin Bieber has um his own line of makeup. His, his own line of makeup. And my niece has a friend who um is a complete Justin Bieber fan and she is just absolutely foolish. She says that the reason why Justin Bieber has his own line of makeup is because girls like to look at his picture while doing their makeup. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, because makeup is supposed to have pictures of girls wearing the makeup so that um, the person who buys the makeup knows what it looks like on, uh, on um, a person's lips or skin or whatever. But if they have a picture of Justin Bieber, they won't know what the makeup actually looks like until they put it on. So what if they buy a makeup and the, what if they buy the Justin Bieber makeup and then they put it on and then they look in the mirror and they say, "Oh, this doesn't look good at all." It, I mean, it's like you're saying, it's like you're saying, "Oh, I'm gonna eat food, but I'm also gonna watch Dirty Jobs at the same time." You can't watch. You can't do something. Um. And then be looking at something that's completely opposite from what you're doing. It's just dumb. But besides that, like I said, his music is stupid because he sings all these love songs even though that he doesn't know crap about love. And just for the record, I do not believe, I do not believe for a single second that he is, an act, that he is actually in a serious relationship with Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez is a horrible actor and a horrible singer, too. And she looks like she's 13, even though she's older than that. But the reason why I don't believe that her and Justin Bieber are in a relationship is because they're both freaking celebrities. There's no way that they have time to be in a serious relationship. Their schedules would be so full and packed that they wouldn't have time to be together. How did they even meet in, you know get together that's dumb they do not have time to be together as a serious couple so i don't believe it it's just media propaganda you know to uh, appease the stupid little kids um and also another singer that really gets on my nerves even though she only has like one song well she has more than one song but i've only heard one of her songs and i hate it and that's Willow Smith. And the song that I heard was Whip My Hair. I hate that song. So much. It's so annoying. I whip my hair back and forth. 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 Oh my god. Those are like the stupidest, most horrible lyrics I've ever heard. And her voice is so annoying. And the way that she dresses and wears makeup. She's... <sighs> she's <sighs> uh, God she Willow Smith is just like Miley Cyrus she's um because she's the daughter of somebody famous she gets to be famous even though her music is crap and annoying as hell and stupid and has no meaning um and like I mentioned, Miley Cyrus, the only reason why she's famous is because she's the daughter of Billy Ray Cyrus, but Miley Cyrus is like, is like hillbilly gone pop star. It's, yeah, Miley Cyrus is kind of like a hillbilly version of Britney Spears, and hey, what do you know, she's actually going down the same path as Britney Spears, because she was pole dancing on stage during one of her concerts. Oh yeah, and wasn't it just a few years ago that parents were calling her a role model? Yeah, last time I checked, role models don't pole dance. Um, 
I feel sorry for who I feel sorry for all the parents who took their kids to Miley Cyrus's concert and saw her pole dancing. I bet they weren't happy about that. But then again, parents these days are are not doing their jobs correctly and probably just you know approve of it. Oh yeah, she's a role model for pole dancing. <sighs> well, whatever. Besides that, Miley Cyrus's music isn't even all that good. And another thing about all these singers, Willow Smith, Justin Bieber, and Miley Cyrus, and Selena Gomez, they don't even write their own songs. Most of their songs are written for them. And they're, they, all sound, they all sound generic and fake and lame and not correct. Um, but if you want to know my favorite band, my favorite band is Yellow Card. I really like this band because Yellow Card is different from ordinary bands. Yellow Card actually has a violin playing in their music. They actually have a violin violinist in their band. That's something that most bands don't have. But not just that, you can tell that they um write their own songs and that they pour their hearts and souls into their songs and that they put a lot of effort and meaning into their songs and they have a whole bunch of songs that I really like um believe which is a very good song it sounds good and it's very meaningful it was a song um made to it was a song created to dedicate the lives of the firefighters who um gave their lives and died saving people during 9-11 that i really love that song and yet and yet for some reason um willow smith is way more um popular than yellow card even though she sings stupid songs about whipping her hair back and forth Ugh, that song makes me want to whip my head against a wall I whip my head against a wall. I whip my head against a wall. I whip my head against the wall. That's what that song makes me want to do. But besides that, she's singing all these crappy songs that have no meaning, and yet Yellow Card is singing these great songs that are filled with meaning, and yet people still like her better. I just don't get it. It's because parents aren't raising their kids correctly. Anyways. But besides that, Yellow Card also has um, Breathing. I love that song. <laughs> and Fighting. I really, really like that song. That's a good song. But I don't just like Yellow Card. I like lots of other bands. I like Linkin Park, even though, even, even though Linkin Park's new songs aren't as good as what they used to be. And I also like... Um, Lots of other bands like Sum 41. Oh, I really like Sum 41. I also like um, Panic at the Disco, although I haven't listened to them in quite a while. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah, there's Kesha. Oh, my God. She dresses like such a slut. It's unbelievable. <sighs> and her music isn't even good either. And then... There's Lady Gaga. Her, like, eh. When she, when she first started off, her music wasn't too, too bad. But Lady Gaga, she's, she supports gays and lesbians and transvestites and stuff. And I don't have a problem with them. But Lady Gaga makes gays and trans... Lady Gaga is so freaky and weird with her crazy-ass outfits. She makes gays and transvestites look normal. That's exactly what she does. Lady Gaga is so weird that she makes gays and transvestites look normal by comparison. And, Jesus Christ. She's just... Off. She's just... Uh, she is worse than Madonna. It's unbelievable. Well, I'm getting close to the time limit, so I'm going to have to stop this video. Although I wish I could have said more, I'll probably make another um, continuation video. So, see you guys next time. Bye!